Hello and welcome to the review of the Fathead from the Dutch company Triton Audio. The Fathead is a very small and easy to use inline preamp which sits between your microphone and your mixer or recorder and adds an extra plus 20 decibels of clean gain on the mic signal so that the preamp in the mixer or the recorder doesn't have to work as hard and a much cleaner sound signal can be achieved. That is what Triton Audio promises and in this review I'm going to figure out whether this is true or not and if this little audio accessory is right for you. I am looking on the fathead from a filmmaking background. As someone who owns the Rode NTG2 shotgun microphone and the Zoom H4n handy recorder, which is a very popular but also not a very good combination. The NTG2 has not the greatest output and the H4n's internal preamp are also considered to be very noisy. To record clean dialogue, which peaks at about minus 12 decibels, with just the Zoom H4n and the Rode NTG2 at a distance from about 35 centimeters, you would have to crank the H4n's gain up to 100% to get a decent signal into it. Normally, the fathead is meant for use with a dynamic mic in a studio situation because it needs and blocks the 48 volts of phantom power which are essential to power a condensator mic. But as the Rode NTG2 has a AA battery slot to power itself, it does not need the external power to work. Triton Audio also produces another version of the fathead which takes the phantom power further to the microphone so that also condensator microphones can be used but the normal fathead is considered to work better with the H4n NTG2 combination. If you order the fathead, it arrives in a small round box, which has just the fathead and a small product description in it. The fathead itself is a really small accessory, which reminds of an XLR plug and is not much bigger than my normal keys. On the one side, it has a female and on the other side a male XLR connector. To use the fathead, you have to first put fresh AA battery into the NTG2, which feeds it with phantom power. Secondly, plug the female XLR side of the fathead to the NTG2 XLR output. Now, the rest of the setup can be plugged in normally. Take an XLR cable and plug it into the fathead as it would be the microphone and put the other side of the XLR cable into the recorder or mixer. That is the whole setup. But now to the most important question. How does this setup work in real life scenarios? And does it really make a difference? First of all, let me say, yes, it makes a big difference. Look at these two waveforms. The first one being recorded with and the second one without the fat head with exactly the same settings on the recording device. After I tested this with a 1 kHz test tone, I can convey you that the signal is really 18 to 20 decibels louder than it was before. Also, I looked at the noise floor, which increased only about 1 to 2 decibels, which can be related to the amplified noise floor of the microphone and also of the room tone. In the following will be two real-life scenario tests. The first one being an interview situation with the talent sitting on a chair and the microphone boomed from about 0.4 meters from their mouth. So first, hear the untouched version without the fathead with the zoom being at level 60. And the same scene with the fathead. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. It is definitely hearable that the fathead audio is much stronger and louder. But to really compare the quality of the audio files and to hear any hiss or noise, the audio files will be normalized. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, 
free. The noise floor of the Fathead edition is about 18 decibels quieter, which is definitely hearable, especially in the quieter parts. Whereas without the Fathead you would have to crank up the gain from the H4M to 100%, you now can leave it at 60 and a much cleaner audio signal is achieved. The second situation is an outdoor scene with an establishing shot where it is really difficult to get the boom mic close enough for proper dialogue. With just the H4N and the NTG2 it is just impossible to get a decent signal into the recorder. So that I remember situations where I had to boost the audio in post about plus 45 decibels which resulted in an unusual sound. Here is the version without the fathead. And here with the fat head. Test one, two, three. And again without. Test one, two, three. Again with. Test one, two, three. As you can hear, there is a huge difference in these two recordings that I really would consider the fathead version usable whereas the version without the fathead is just too hissy and too noisy. So, to conclude this, is the fathead worthwhile buying? Definitely. I think it is just a must have for everyone who is stuck with the H4N NTG2 combination and for 80 euros it can really be a lifesaver. It makes my audio setup usable and helps to record cleaner, much better audio, which boosts your production value a lot. Does it solve every audio problem in the world? No, not at all. You won't be recording great audio if the mic is 5 meters away from the talent. Not with the fathead, neither with 99% of every other setups. But what it does is simple and effective. It boosts the signal out of the mic so that you have a louder recording with a higher signal to noise ratio. That even microphones with a lower output can be used with cheap recorders or mixers. Whom do I recommend getting a fathead? Anybody who uses a mic which does not need phantom power or which can power itself and is not totally satisfied with his microphone output or the preamps in the recorder or mixer. The fathead will make a significant difference in a lot of setups, so that I really can't recommend it enough. In the video description will be links to every product which I mentioned and also the fathead website.